Hi friends, it's Sharon. Welcome to my neck of the woods. Today we are going to do vision boards. Um, now you, they're nothing new, you've probably seen it. Uh, it was in the movie The Secret. It's written in a lot of books about success and happiness and how to get what you want out of life. Business professionals use it to help them focus on goals, the goals of the company, things like that. So it's not anything new. Um, but we're going to use it today to help us focus on individual goals. So, there's there's different ways you can do a vision board. You could do it on the computer. You could draw if you're really good at drawing or paint something. However, my artistic skills have not quite developed past kindergarten. So I'm going to do a collage. So what you need are magazines, um, paper glue, scissors, and something to put put your collage onto you. Now some people like to do large poster boards um, where they put everything that they want for their life on the, the one board, health, fitness, money, happiness. However, I'm going to just focus on one specific goal. I think that when you put all of your energy towards one thing at a time, the chances that it's going to develop the way that you want it to and quicker are greater. So I'm going to focus on one specific goal for my vision board and just do kind of a medium, medium sized collage. Um, and again, I'm not claiming to reinvent the wheel here. I know that this is something that's very popular. I just think that vision boards can be extremely inspirational. And uh, after you've created it, when you hang it up somewhere, it helps remind you what your goals are and sort of keep you on track. I find them to be very helpful and therapeutic to create them. So first, you have to decide what you want to do your vision board on. Be it fitness or health or relationship, money, a new job, whatever it is that you feel like you could use in your life. with the, An area in your life that maybe is lacking or, or you just want something new. Um, mine, I'm going to focus on finding myself. I'm really wanting some confidence and some strength in who I am as a person. I think that when you really know who you are and you're really confident with who you are, um, it's easier to attain happiness. So my vision board um, and what I want to focus on for my life right now is um, happiness and confidence and, and finding myself. So with that said, let's get started. Well, you have this first magazine here. Self. Confidence. I think it's a sign. It was a good choice. If only I could put it out without making a horrid mess. I'm going to take the easy way out. And tape. Glue and I are not friends. I don't know. It always gets everywhere. It wrinkles the paper. I'm just going to make it easy. Make it easy on myself. Why not? This is your vision board. You can do it any way you want, however you want. There's no right or wrong way. So, once you've finished, then you have your beautiful vision board. They could be as basic or elaborate as you want them to be. They're yours. There's no wrong way to do it. Um, this is mine, you know, and I, I pick things that would remind me of happiness and self and and being myself and and confidence there's confident curvy women on here and live your life and and this woman here she looks strong and ready to take on the world so I picked up things that when I look at it that's what it's gonna make me think of and remind me what my goal is and what I'm focused on um, and so you should hang it somewhere that you're gonna see it every day it's gonna remind you um, what it is that you're wanting to uh, incorporate in your life and uh, that's it. Um, so if you created a vision board before or if you want to share with us what some of the, your goals are and things that you want to focus on, put it in the comments below. You know, people can read it and get inspiration for their own boards. Um, and uh, until next time, take care.